Good morning, everyone. I'm back today. Um, it's not... Well, it's just about morning. It's nearly afternoon now. I've just been getting on with a few jobs. Um, <laughs> I can tell you one thing. Uh, the days are starting to go a bit colder now. Uh, we're in autumn now, just the start of autumn. Uh, so the days are going really, really cold, especially in the mornings. Uh, it's getting darker at nights and stuff, so uh, I can tell we're getting uh, closer to winter. Uh, but today, uh, we've got a bit of a special video, actually. Um, I'll just drop that trailer there because we're going to be using the Massey today uh, with the new silage trailer. Um, if you remember Matthew, you will. He used to work uh, for us, but he's moved away uh, a few hours away. Um, uh, you must have seen my video where I um, got my silage in a few videos ago, a couple of weeks ago now. Um, and he's interested in buying some. So he rang me, uh, gave me some directions to his farm. Uh, so today we're going to be uh, selling some silage to Matthew. Um, so that's good, give us a bit of extra money and it'll be nice to see his farm because uh, he's got his own farm now. So that's something a bit different. And yep, the payment from last uh, video's uh, hay bales came in. Uh, so we're on about 21,000 now. Uh, so that's good. Actually, if I just jackknife my trailer on an angle, then I've got room for the bobcat to come in. I should jackknife it about there. And then get the old bobcat. Oh, that's the tedder. Uh, so yep, I'll need to put the bucket on. There we go. So I've heard that he's got a John Deere uh, 7600, I think. Uh, like an old classic one. Well, not classic, it's more modern classic. And uh, an old Merlot, I think. Uh, telehandler. He hasn't got any animals yet, I don't think. Uh, obviously, he's just moved there a few weeks ago, so he hasn't really got any farming done. He's just been sorting out the house and stuff. Got a few bits of equipment, but he hasn't done any uh, grass or anything that uh, yet. That's why he's interested in buying some silage. Am I going to fit through there? Yeah. That's why he's interested in buying some silage. Uh, I'll try and clear out this chaff off the front. If it'll go in the bucket. There we go. Now I'll just go for the silage. It's not the biggest bucket in the world, this bobcat, but uh, it's all right. It just reaches up to the trailer. You have to put it up to max uh, height. You have to drive right into the... Well, not into the trailer, but... And fingers crossed it tips in. So there we go, that's emptied now. I think I'll see you when we've loaded. <laughs> about to put the last load in now I've tried to fill it quite full uh, so we can take it uh, as much as possible I'm only taking one load um, so yeah if we took more than one I think we'd be here all day because this farm's that far away that uh, yeah 
Uh, I'll just go to the left a bit more, I think. See, I filled the left side first. There we go. I think that'll do us now. Don't want to really fill it much more, because otherwise we'll be spilling bits on the road. Then the council will be at us, and that won't be good. But yeah, it's cleared the front off quite well. I've also uh, tidied the little bit of chaff off the front. Uh, so I've put that in a pile uh, just over there, you've probably seen. I'll move it later. But yeah, so it's looking quite full. I'll just climb up the ladders here. Oh, yep, see, it's very full there. <laughs> I wouldn't really want to put much more on. There we go, back down to height. Right, if I just turn the beacon lights on now, because we're going on the road, and now uh, we'll set off. So yeah, like I've said, his farm's a few hours away, but it shouldn't be too bad. And obviously it'll give the Massey um, and this silage trailer a good run out. Uh, we haven't used this uh, trailer yet, so it'll put it to its test. And obviously the Massey as well. Put a few hours on it. It's quite a low hour tractor for its age, really. Could just do the touch of paint. It'd be uh, pretty spotless. Because the interior is good, so yeah, it's very good. Swing it around this corner. See, so, yep, like I said, it's getting uh, quite cold in the mornings and at nights now. Um, I'm having to put the heaters on in the tractors now. I think it's about 16 degrees at the moment. So it's not the warmest. It's not too cold, 16, but this morning it was cold. Anyways, I'll uh, see you when we're getting closer uh, to his farm. Right, everyone, I've just um, arrived at the little um, village kind of place where his farm is. It's exciting this. So it's been a couple of hours, um, judging by the time. It's not too far away. Oh, that must be the shop on the left there. Just there. And I think he said it's a right turn down a farm lane, just past the shop. And then his farm's the first one on the left. Ah, so it must be that one there. Oh, there he is! I'll just jump out here and say hello and see where he wants this tipped. Hello, Matthew! Hello! How are you? Oh, I'm good, thanks. Um, where are you wanting this uh, trailer tipped? Uh, just over there in this shed. I'll, I'll show you now. Right then, I'll follow you. Ah! You might have to move this trailer out the way, but you can use my tractor, don't worry. Oh, thank you. Um, where do you want that put? Just over there somewhere. Yeah, nee bother. Ah, right. So is that your tractor just over there then? That John Deere? Aye. Right. So I'll move that trailer with that first. And then there's a telehandle around the back just so I can push the load up. Aye. Uh, it should already have bucket on, I think. Uh I'll speak to you when I've tipped uh, when you've tipped your lord anyways. Uh right oh I'll see you later then Matthew. Right, so I think this is Matthew's tractor here, see? Yeah, it's a John Deere 7600. Um like he said. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's got um not very many hours on it actually, 3,400. Because it's quite an old tractor this one. I think it might be older than my Massey. So that's not very many um, hours at all. I think it's about 130 horsepower, this one. 
130, so that's not too bad. It's a nice tractor though, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Big back wheels. I see the fan turning in there. It's a tidy tractor, mind. I like it. Um, I'll pull his trailer around here for now, just out the way. Just pull it in here. Turn the engine off, there we go. So this looks like a really nice farm. Right, I'm just going to tip this load. I think Matthew's off to get the telehandler for me. Uh, just to save a bit of time. I think what, uh, that's what he was saying anyways. Oh, there isn't very much space around here. I thought there was a bit more. I'll maybe have to do that again. Maybe I have to go in that way. And uh, back out that way. Well, this is a tight yard. I'll give him that. Be careful, there's a tree behind there. Um, if I... Well, actually, if I go in here, I could probably... Oh, no, that's... Oh, no, I can just go around here now. And I should be able to back it in from here. Ah, right, that'll do. Now, I'm not sure how tall the sheds are, but I should be able to jack the trailer up high enough uh, to be able to tip it. Very, very tight yard. I don't think I'm going to make it round there. Let me just have a look. Oh, there's the telehandler. Um, yeah, I should make it round there. I'd say Matthew will beep his horn if I'm going to hit something. <laughs> ah, we've made it. Oh, just. <laughs> just made it round. I think he was playing a little prank on me there. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Right, everyone, we've had a change of plan. Um, the building's not actually tall enough uh, to tip it in. So what I'm going to do is just tip it here, and then he's going to shovel it in. Uh, so if I just tip it here, just uh, get the hydraulics working again. There he is, just waiting. There we go. So if I just tip it here, and then he'll shovel it in. And then we'll go from there. Just pull it forwards a little bit. Careful not to hit his <laughs> hedge. Right, now if I park my tractor down the road, will he start shoveling that in? Oh, this will test the turning circle. Now I'm going to have to back over this silage. Oh, carefully, carefully. Well, this is really testing the suspension on the trailer. Oh, there we go. I should pull it on the side of the road. Don't think anyone will come down this uh, lane. We'll best just park it out the way anyways. Right, everyone, we've had another change of plan. It turns out we want it over at the uh, far shed. Well, it's not really a shed. It's outside. I think it's around here. Here he is. He's just tipped that there. I think he's just tipping it around here. There, just there. That's where he's tipping it. So here he is. Should get him coming past now. Hope he doesn't run me over. But there we go, that's Matthew. Back in the videos. I'll have a quick word with him now. Uh, just see what's happening. Just let him tip this first. Is there anything you're wanting me to do, Matthew? Aye, well, if you just hold on a sec, I'll let you have a go with the Merlot. Uh, give you a couple of loads and tip it our ear. Um, then you can see what's what. And then I've got some exciting news I want to tell you uh, when we've finished. Before you head off. Ah, right. Um, I'll just wait for you to tip uh, another load or so. And then I'll have a go then. Aye, knee bother. Well, that's exciting. He's going to give me a go. There he goes again. Oh, that's exciting. I haven't driven a telehandler in a while. I think the last one I drove was James's when we were um, uh, bringing our hay bales back. But this one's a bit different. This one's a bit older, I think. Not as new as James's Manitou. There he goes again. I'll wait over here for him to give me a turn. But Oh, actually, I'll do him a favour and I'll put the uh, bale trailer back in the shed uh, just while I wait. Because we're not putting the silage in there anymore, so it should be alright. Oh, this is tight. Just back it back at that. And then pull forwards a little bit and then go like this. There we 
go. Spin it around here. We are going to have to... Oh, I think he's wanting me to have a go now. Mm. I'll quickly back this trailer up. I'll just leave John Deere on it for now. He can put it where he wants. Right. Oh, this is nice. I think it's got about 8,500 uh, hours on it. Oh, there he goes with the John Deere. It's a bit smaller than the Manito, I think. Oh, it's got a fair bucket on it. I think I'll just back back around here. Ooh, there's a little mirror at the back there. See, there's a few uh, uh, chips in the paintwork, but I think it's an overall quite tidy telehandler. Ooh. See, the joystick's just there. It's quite similar to the Manitou, really, if I just boom it out a little bit. Just tip that there. So I think he's actually looking at getting some sheep or something he was saying before. So that's why he's wanting the silage. If I just spin it round here, I'll do another load, then I'll give him it back. I think there'll only be another load left, really. So, should be alright. See, there's a few uh, old pallet, uh, pallets around here and stuff. Could do with some pallets. I'll ask him if he's uh, willing to give them away. And he said he had some exciting news. I'm not sure what that is, but, uh, hmm. There we go. Right, I'll give him his telehandler back. Thanks for that, Matthew. I need bother. See, the temperature's got up a bit now. It's 19 degrees. Right, we'll let him get this last bucket. And then we'll uh, see this exciting news. Here he is, he's just parking the uh, Merlot back now. See, it's got quite tidy tyres on it uh, when I'm looking at these. Look quite new. So it's Turbo Farmer uh, P4 1.7. Oh, there he is. So it must have a 7 metre boom. 4.1 uh, ton lift capacity. Right, Matthew, what's this exciting news? I'm excited to hear this. Aye, well, there's actually a uh, a farm down the road for sale. Um, I think it's in your price range. Um, I just wondered if you wanted to have a look at it now. Uh, I think it's a really good farm, quite similar to your old one. Uh, it's quite tight yard, but I think you'll like it. And it, as I say, it's in your price range, so uh, I just wondered if you wanted to have a look. Oh, that's actually some quite good news. I'd love to have a look. Um, am I able to look now? Aye, aye. Ah, oh, well, I'll go and have a look then. Uh, thank you for that. Um, it's been nice to see you, Matthew. I'll uh, I'll hopefully see you again soon, and I'll tell you how the, the viewing at the farm goes. Aye, aye, it's been nice to see you as well. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, so that's good then. There's a farm just down the road um, that's got a view in uh, that I can have. Oh, that's exciting. Potentially a farmer. He said it's in my price range. Just take my hazard lights off, which is exciting news. If I just jack this up so I can see where I'm reversing. There we go. Spin it round here. Just careful not to hit that. There we go. So I think it's just down here. I don't think it's down there. Or maybe it is actually. Uh, I think it might be. Uh, it must be down there by those sheds. Must be down there. Gone wrong way. Let me jack this trailer up so I can see where I'm reversing. No, it won't let me. Never mind, I can just about see through the back anyways. There's a clear door on the back. But yep, yeah, that Merlot was nice. Oh, I'd really like a telehandler. Oh, that's a crashed car. I think, unless it's a gateway. There's a farmer just looking at his field, I'm not sure. So I think he said just down this road. Yeah, so this is exciting news if it is in my price range. 
means we'll be able to afford it, which is uh, really good. Be nice to have a farm near Matthew, obviously, because uh, we do get on really well, and obviously he used to work for me, so we can help each other out. <laughs> right, everyone, so it turns out I went the wrong way, and I've just had word with Matthew, and he said it's probably best if he comes with me, because I've no idea where I'm going. He said, just go down this road and he'll meet me there. I'll see some sheds. Clearly, I've got no clue what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah. Best if he comes with me. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, it must just be down there. I think it's slightly bigger um, than my current farm. But like I've said, the farms are cheaper up here, so... Ooh, this looks quite nice. I'll just, um... Park my tractor here. Wow, this looks nice. Apart from the bins. <laughs> ah, this must be Matthew here. It's a lovely tractor, that uh, 7600. Sounds lovely. I think he's just going to park down here with me. Um, I'll wait for him. Just have a look in a couple of sheds. Oh, there's an old cedar there. Oh, that looks like a tractor. An old armor track, maybe. Ah, it's on a feeder wagon. Ah, so there must uh, be a cow farm here. They must have the cows out at the moment, because I can't see them anywhere around here. Ah, right, here's Matthew. Uh, right, show me around, because I've no idea where I'm going. I need bother. Right, first, this is the uh, first shed. Uh, this can be used as a silo pit. Or, in this case, they're just using it for machinery and stuff like that. But, yeah, you can use it for whatever you want, really. Um, next, uh, we've got, around here, just a few calf pens and stuff like that. And uh, another silo pit here. Um, but, yeah, as I've said, you can use that uh, for machinery or even grain if you wanted to. Uh, around the back here, uh, they've got the baler. Um, but this is where they usually have cattle and stuff like that. Uh, just through here. Uh, obviously there's the feeder wagon, you've seen that, um, but yeah, see there's a few points there for cattle, and uh, around here, uh, if I just open this gate, there we go, just swing it round there, uh, they've got more machinery sheds here, see they've got the combine, um, I think they own a few arable fields as well as grass, uh, so there's plenty of mixture, I know you've just ploughed that field, um, so if you want another arable field with all your plough and and uh, arable kit. There is arable fields around here that this uh, belong to this farm. But yep, they've got another tractor there, just in a silo pit here, um, or a muck ridding, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, I think there's a muck ridding round the far side though. So yep, if you want to use that, you can. All right, Matthew, this is a, this is a very nice farm. Uh, me, do you know how much the price for the farm is? Um, I think it's about. Two, three, five, um, but you could probably get it down to about two twenty, uh, I think, because it's been on the market for a while now. But yeah, about two, three, five. Right, if you'd uh, follow me around here, I'll show you the muck ridding. Right. So he was saying there's a few arable fields. That one there's arable, um, and obviously I've just bought my plow and stuff. Um. And I'll probably look into a cultivator and stuff like that. But yeah, I think it's a good deal for 235 and 220 Ah, oh, like I've said, the farms are so much cheaper up here. It's maybe not got that much land. And right over here, just straight ahead, that's the muck rid in there. So yep, you can put your muck in there. There's a few more uh, cattle pens down here as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. Right, Matthew, uh, thanks for that. This is a really nice farm. I think I'll be in touch with you whether uh, whether or not I want to buy it, because obviously I'm gonna, it's going to be uh, a couple of weeks before my field's grown anyways. Um, so I'll have to ring the estate agent and just uh, tell them I'm interested. Um, I could probably put an offer it. Well, I'll, see, I'll have a chat with James just to see what's going on there, because he could probably buy my farm... And then I'll still own the field and I'll buy the farm up here uh, if I like it, which I do very much. Um, but yeah, I'll be in touch. Thanks for that. I need bother. Well, that's interesting because this is a really nice farm. I really like it. I 
I think it'd be really good uh, for our machinery and stuff. There's plenty of storage around. Oh no, I'm going to have to try and back my trailer out here. I'll maybe spin it round here and go up, out the other way. Yeah, that'll work. And obviously, um, Matthew didn't show me, um, but I saw on the way in the farmhouse. Uh, that's just... I'll show you when we drive past. This is a very tight yard, like he said. Nice and challenging. Just trying to think how I can uh, get out of here. Uh, if I go here... And back down there and I think that's a small grass field there that they own and then there's one uh, towards the yard and they own that one there too and um, that's why they've got the combine but that's sugar beet at the minute I think um, so they've got a contractor to harvest that so yep they've uh, got the new Hollands and stuff ah that's the farmhouse there on the left see they've got a pickup truck so that's their farm there um, I really like that. I think that's a really nice farm. I'm, uh, I'll have to ring the estate agents and just tell them I'm interested uh, so no one else buys it really, kind of reserve it for me if that's possible. Yeah, but there's Matthew. He's John Deere. Not quite as fast as the Massey, but yeah, give him a B. There he goes. Right, back to the farm. Right everyone, I've just got back to the yard, I think I'm just going to park the tractor here for now. But yep, we're back, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's been a bit different, uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.